There was a mother and a child who recently got into a bit of an altercation. I'm not sure if y'all seen this video. Uh, it was a, you know, black black and brown uh, minority okay. parent-child situation. So allegedly the daughter was acting up in school. The mother got a little mad at her and, you know, the daughter had long hair, long braids. And because she acted up at school, the mother took some scissors to her head and cut her hair off. Cut the braids off. I'm going to play the clip. And I want to get y'all's take on, you know, was she right? Was she wrong? Because my kid thinks it's more important to be pretty than educated. More important to be a follow body than a leader, right? Okay. I'm not a parent who likes to use physical discipline. Come here, you're going to learn today, girl. No physical discipline. Mom. Don't mom me. No. You had your learning. You had your chance. I told you to listen. I told you stop disobeying my rules. I told you being cute ain't shit. If you have no education. I told you stop disobeying me. I told you to listen and do as you're supposed to. I told you to do good in school. I told you to do your daily routine and you yet to even do any of it. And you thought you were disobeying me today and I was not coming to Damn. cut this hair off. You're sadly mistaken because you thought being pretty was so much better than being educated or listening to your mom right yes this is what happens when you don't listen to your mom thoughts was she wrong daughter was allegedly acting up in school she says she doesn't physically whoop her kids so this is her way of punishing her for acting up in school do y'all agree with it was she wrong was it too far what's your thoughts Way too far. I don't think you do that. You can find other ways of punishment besides cutting your daughter hair off. Now she gonna be she gonna gonna be <clears throat> damn. I don't want to say traumatized, but Otis. she gonna be depressed and all that shit. Otis, think about this. No, don't no no <laughs> don't rationalize that shit smooth. <laughs> no, don't rationalize that think shit smooth. Think about this shit. That nigga said no before he even gave don't her. Don't think about this shit, bro. No smooth. I hear you. I hear you. No smooth. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> no, we about no to say something wild. There you go. I ain't gonna but, say nothing no, wild. I ain't gonna say nothing wild. No, but you know oh, what? Really quick. Hold on, really quick. Uh -huh. You know what's fucked up, though? No, and I ain't fucked up. If it was a, a boy, I wouldn't trip. Like, if that nigga had, like, a hot top and you knew he was working towards that. What's the that, difference? We can't rationalize the difference. No. No, I'm just I'm just being biased. I'm telling you I'm being biased. Well, okay. Well, I don't that think you do that to works. a woman. Because a woman, no. Because a woman's a woman's hair is like her power like she has a lot of meaning in her hair that means a lot to women men eh, eh, it, ain't the same. It, 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 it don't weigh the same for them that's my only th that's that's the only thing so if, if you dude, cut a young nigga dreads head, right now you just walk up on him and, and cut his dreads he ain't gonna be trying to shoot your face off oh yeah he would okay then so it's the same thing but that's not his son that's what i care saying. less if it was his son he, he gonna feel the same way just like if you had a son and he grew up and he had his hair, he had his hair fly how he wanted it with the dreads or braids or something, and you cut his hair, he's gonna feel disrespected too. He's gonna feel exactly like that girl feeling. Yeah, but so it ain't no difference. Yeah, but the reason why he can get his hair done and get his dreads retwisted and stuff, because I'm paying for it and I'm the same thing with this, that girl. And he ain't doing it. Well, same thing the, with the girl. Her yeah. hair, her hair costs more. We're gonna keep it a bean. Well, I mean, in society, the way a girl's value is through her beauty and her looks. It's not. That's not the same way for a man. So, did you hear yeah. the mama though? I heard. She I heard the mama. I'm, the first thing I heard mouth was, "Uh, you just act like pretty is more important than education." So obviously, she been having this conversation with her for a long time. Yeah, cool. So I'm for a long time. So I'm sitting in school with the same regular goddamn, same clothes every day, like a uniform. You ain't getting your hair done. You all the makeup is gone. You going to school regular, regular. If I see you with your hair done, nah, we taking. I'm gonna do your hair every morning. That's what I'm doing, and it ain't gonna be pretty. But I ain't gonna cut all your hair off, right? I but I mean, I can't. I hate that's you. not my child, and I don't know what she really been trying to do to discipline her up until that point. So it's kind of hard to Obviously say. Obviously, it's a lot, but because for her to go that far and what she was saying, how she was saying it. It's been a lot. I'm, I'm, I can't say it's a lot because uh, women like to go. But mothers also sometimes do that shit out of jealousy. Because uh -huh. if she pretty and mm. she not, like sometimes they'll you. go to the extreme just to embarrass her. Mm. So now I'm going to have you looking like a fool at school. I hear you. I hear you. So what would you, you would have cut her hair off? 
No, but, <laughs> no, I would, I, I wouldn't did. Get the fuck out of hey, here! I wouldn't have did it because I wouldn't have thought about that. I wouldn't have thought about. Why wouldn't you thought about that? Because she wouldn't have had shit from the go. But you saying it's justified? Whatever methods you got to go through to get to your kids, bro. Damn. Because you got to realize, one day she gonna be off that porch. Mm-hmm. One day. Mm-hmm. If I let you keep bumping your head and you don't give a damn, the moment you jump off this porch. You're going to be right back over here and you ain't going to know how to do shit. Or you're going to want my help for the rest of your life. People act like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you become a parent, your life just stop and revolve around your kid for the rest of your life. No, my, my life stops until you until I know you ready to jump off this porch. Because the moment I know you ready, I'm pushing your ass out the door. I'm not pushing you out early, but the moment I know you ready, I'm pushing you out the door. I got, man, look, I got life to go live. Obviously, she not gonna be ready. You want to be pretty, being being how she being how she explained it. Just we just gonna go out how she yeah. explained it, mm-hmm. motherfucker. You headed to baby mama central. You headed to section eight central. You had, you headed to working at Walmart, McDonald's, all that for the rest of your fucking life because you think being pretty how you are now is more important than getting your education. And we all know, we all know right now. If you ain't got no education, you ain't gonna hand, you ain't gonna land no high dollar job. That's just how this shit going. And obviously, she young, so her generation gonna be even more of that. You get what I'm saying? So I gotta find a way to get through to you, motherfucker. I'm not and, and, looking at her mom. She look like she didn't been through some shit. I might have been thinking about that. That's just real. Hey, man, I'm, I'm just keeping it a bean. Man, you know people that done been through some shit. You know what I'm saying? People, you know what I'm people saying? That's, that's, that's lived life. Yeah, she done lived a little bit. She done lived a little bit. She I, I, I wish you. I wish so you. she don't want her daughter making the same mistakes she made. Motherfucker, I done been there. I done did all that shit that you doing. That's not the way. You want a better life. You want to be able to take care of yourself. God damn me. You want to find a, a great husband. You want to get to this plateau, motherfucker. Don't, don't go the way... That you going, motherfucker, go this way. And you could tell the young motherfucker, she don't even list her own moms, obviously. I don't disagree with you. So, smooth, but so the she method I don't agree with. Her her last resort was cutting her hair. That's for her. Felt, that's for how her. you felt that was right for there. For her. Hmm. But everybody met this different. See, me, I'd have took everything. Phone, bed, everything. Everything. I I'd have took like everything. That before I cut her I'd have took everything. She'd have been she'd have been in shacks fucking with me. <laughs> Every day. Until she got it right. But now she might become worse. Now she really going to be I'm rebellious. Thinking. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. After that, you got to go. You to cut my hair. Oh, it's But she only like, like 14. After yeah, that, you got to go. <laughs> that's the problem, dog. We too weak out here, bro. Black people, dog. We too hey. weak. We too weak, for you too hard. No, I'm not too hard, motherfucker. Like I tell y'all, I got a son, bro. If this motherfucker don't go, I don't care which route that you go. I can care less about the route. Care less. You get what I'm saying? If you're not doing something that is successful to our family, as far as what we going to give you, motherfucker, I won't give it to you. I'll give it to somebody I see working their ass off and understand what this is over here before I let you destroy it. And that's how we need to be. We see these motherfuckers get shit all the time. She, her mama may be in position where she got a house, she got a couple businesses or a couple houses and all that shit there. Motherfucker, I can't trust you to run this shit if I die. You gonna take all this fucking money and wanna be pretty, wanna go buy this fucking Louis Vuitton purse and blow all this fucking money and all this bullshit. Life ain't about that. Life is about having shit and making your life as comfortable as possible. You know what I'm saying? And the road, a lot of these motherfuckers, these little niggas head down, these, head, these little women head down, it don't be like that. You know what I'm saying? So it, for me, if I don't deem it worthy of my last name, motherfucker, you gotta go. I care less if your name Junior. You might as well change it because you ain't getting nothing. At fourteen. At fourteen, I had a conversation with my moms, and uh, I say, man, you need to get your will together. You get what I'm saying? Because I don't want to. I don't want to be the motherfucker family that's arguing about my mama assets and all that shit. Though she say, you really think these kids gonna fight over the house? I say, mama, man, I'm the only kid that you got doing good. They starving for money. It's just a fact. You get what I'm saying? When you die, they gonna be asking about some money. You get what I'm saying? And if you ain't got that shit, no, I, I I told her straight up, I'm not gonna fight over that shit. I don't need nothing. I'm cool. So if they go to destroy everything you didn't built that I didn't help you build over these years, so be it. You get what I'm saying? And she got to thinking about that shit 
because that is very important. You know, that, that's just like you. You have a kid, bro. You raise your kid up to be an outstanding person. And then they grow up to be a fucking thief or, or whatever the fuck they doing. And then you die and you hand them all this shit that you didn't build. And they destroy it. Wouldn't you be upset? Yeah, but you talking about, you know, 18, 19, even older than bro, that, 30 years old. We talking about 14-year-old girl. I hear you. I shit. definitely hear you. But it take, like I told my mama, it takes something drastic. Once a, once a person that made their mind up, whatever the year that is, I mm-hmm. care less if you're 14. Whatever time you done made your mind up, this is how I'm going to be. It takes something drastic for you to change your mind. It takes something drastic to hit you. Oh, no, no, I need to go the other way. Outside of that, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. That's why you can walk in some people's houses and you see that shit, you like, damn. But ain't nothing drastic hit them. Ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's why people get comfortable on Section 8. That's why people get comfortable living at the bottom. They feel like that's cool. And I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not taking me- mediocrity. We're not doing that. So I respect it. If that's her method of doing it, I respect it. I hope she get the outcome she wants. Which is my issue. I don't I don't necessarily think she is. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's gonna make the situation worse. And what I mean by that is because that girl gotta go back to school. Mm-hmm. And them kids at school, we didn't all been in school. And that's one thing about being grown is that a lot of grown people act like they've never been kids. That's right. And they don't know how school works and they don't know what like how important social currency is, right? So when she go to school with her head looking like that, she gonna get smoked for that. There's no way around it. They don't care why it happened, they don't care none of the background information. What the hell is going on with your head? You looking like G.I. Jane in this bit. Like that, I can I can I can hear the jokes already. And it's like, what do you think that that's going to do to her, right? That's going to either make her get into fights or that's going to make her just pull back from school altogether. She's going to be trying to cut classes. She's going to be trying to skip because she's just trying not to be around that negativity that, that that's going to be there. The you bullying. know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. yeah, the bullying. It, it, it's coming. It's, there's no way around it. You know what I'm saying? So I think, like, as a parent, especially in the black community, and old alluded to it, and I think we need to unpack that a bit, a lot of times the punishment this style, especially for mothers to their daughters, stems from jealousy. Just like she said, you think being pretty is this, da 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 You know what I'm saying? So she may be looking at her daughter and jealous of her daughter and jealous of the fact that she is pretty and maybe then, you know, the mama might have used to be pretty, not no more, not getting shows like that, but she see her daughter is pretty and whatever, so they, they'll they take that away. It's a lot of women that are fucked up mentally in that way. Mm-hmm. And they'll take it out on their kid, cutting their hair, abusing them, telling them that they ugly, this, that, that, all that type of shit that, that be happening and it's not spoken on enough. And that happens a lot in our community. You know what I'm saying? So like my my immediate thought when this happened was like, where's the daddy? Because the same way that, the yeah, same way, right, because the same way that mothers will look at a son and say, you remind me of your daddy and treat him away. She looked at the she she they look at the daughter and think the same damn thing. So I'm not even sure that it's not like that that, that classifies classify as like abuse. I was just, I was literally honest. looking it up to ask y'all would that be a, no, considered a form of it, abuse? It, it would be. It, it would be because it, it 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 it's it's not physical harm, but it's gonna do mental harm to her. Like it's it's no way around that. You know what I'm saying? Like we could sit here and talk in, in ideals and you know the end goal of the message, but it's a lot of space in between now and that end goal. She gotta try to grow that hair out, she gotta try to do this, and then she gonna be getting smoked. That's so like at, at the end of the day, like you gotta ask yourself, because if, if I'm the daddy in that household and my wife comes to tell me I'm cutting her hair off, I'm say you lost your fucking mind. Don't touch my daughter's head. You know what's crazy, man? I'm dealing with a 15 year old right now, right? That I had to put my name on to have custody of and all this shit, right? Mm-hmm. She had my mom's crib. Uh, I'm not gonna say her name and shit, but uh, we're going through that right now. This situation. Mm-hmm. She thinks she's pretty and endowed. Now she coming from a situation where her mom's didn't want her and all that type of shit. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But. Y'all know me, great reader people. I'm sitting down talking to her and shit. <laughs> she her mama. You are the embodiment of your mama at that age. That's the example she had. You know what I'm saying? You the same person. I say now, you got this new situation. You ain't got to worry about no job. You ain't got to worry about eating. You ain't got to worry about no fucking clothes or no phone or nothing. That shit is nothing here. Only thing we asking. Only thing we asking. You at school 40 hours? Perform 
I say, plus, you going to school with people that got money. It's an area where, hey, motherfuckers got some bread around here. You get what I'm saying? So, you you can't be half-stepping. You want to be popular? These motherfuckers be having Hellcats and all this type of shit and, and seniors type shit in school. You can get that. You can have that type of shit. We ain't tripping. We ain't tripping. But you're going to perform for them. First thing I her mouth. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. I know you too well. You your mama. Bam, we planning Christmas. Planning Christmas. My mom called me two days ago. She said, yo, man, man, why the principal just called me? Now, this girl has signed a paper with the principal. And the only reason why we got her in the school, because my mama know the principal. Because at first they denied her three times. You know what I'm saying? Because of her past history shit. Right. But she signed a paper saying, I won't skip class. I won't do this. I won't do that. You get what I'm saying? Principal calls us. She's, she's skipping class. You know what I'm saying? I'm up here planning. You know what I'm saying? Because this whole time, we ain't hear nothing. We, she, she, having, she having some good grace. She's struggling some shit that she told me. Okay, cool. We can, we can get that up. We ain't tripping. At least you told me. Because I told her, don't, don't let us find out. You need to tell us. You know what I'm saying? That's how we, we're accountable over here. Right? So, bam. We, me, me and my wife, my mom's, we planning her little Christmas and shit. Was going to give her a nice little phone. Fly ass clothes. She wanted these, like, real exclusive uh fucking... Uh, uh, Crocs and shit You know I'm up here Looking for them They like 270 type shit For a size 7 in a woman You know that's high as fuck You know what I'm saying But when my mom Gave me that car I said well, I ain't getting nothing She ain't getting nothing Not nothing You know what I'm saying My mom would say So you think I, I This is women being soft You think I shouldn't Give her the phone Mama she don't deserve that I reward winning around here I don't worry mediocrity We ain't doing that I say, and I ain't judging on a scale. I'm ju- I would judge my son or my wife niece. My wife niece make, and they the same age. My wife niece make all A's. I can't deny you. Whatever you want. I ain't tripping. We ain't tripping. We always get us something great. But I know what situation you coming from. So I'm, I'm grading you on the, on, the, on the curve. I ain't tripping. I understand it. You know, I'm giving you a year to catch up, which is cool. But you still falling back into some bullshit. Principal talking about, I see she running with a crowd that she shouldn't be running with. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, what what what, what y'all think I should do? What cut would her, you do? Cut her hair. And what's crazy is my wife just did her hair. Swear to God, no, what? Go, a week go, ago. Go over there and cut it, man. I ain't paid it like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's you know that that's why I don't I don't agree with cutting the hair because that's a form that's part of a body. I ain't paid it like like, like that. shoes. You can that's she gonna run and run through them through the dirt. Mm-hmm. Phone, you gonna get a new phone every year, every two years, something like that. But your hair, that shit ain't growing back like that in a year, two years. You you walk, you can walk in school with some regular Crocs, but you can't walk in school with no hair. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is the method. Yeah, the method. I get what method she's trying to do, but yeah, I wouldn't have thought about the hair because I wouldn't be, you know, what I'm saying thinking about that. But something has to be done. Yeah, but cutting. The, I agree. Something has to be hair done. Is. Something cutting has to be hair, done to save her from herself. That was extreme to me. You know what my issue is with that? Is that a lot of parents like give our very, very, very harsh retribution on the back end for raising that they didn't do on the front end. Mm. That's what this situation sounds like to me. This girl's acting up like this in school. As a mother, you got looking in that mirror. That's your fault. Mm hmm. But try telling a black mother that anything that's going wrong with her kid is her fault. That is a fact. Or even if so, there's a black dad in the mother together, if your kid acting up, because I've seen it. No, 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 no. We're going we, 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 we gonna, we gonna to stay up because black fathers are going to be way more understanding. Now, he may not admit it publicly, but in behind the scenes, be, yeah, man, we, got, we didn't do what we spoke. Because men are, men are logical in that aspect. I'm talking about black mothers in general. Mm-hmm. Try telling a black mother that they've done anything wrong with raising their kid. Their kid could be out here a whole demon, causing trouble, robbing, shooting niggas, all type of shit. She's going to find a way to say it, that, that it's not her fault. Yep, I did the best I could. Exactly. And the <laughs> fact is, is in a lot of these situations, you did 
That you, did, you did not do the best you could in raising her. You was at work a lot, so you didn't spend the right time with her. You was over here fucking with all type of niggas that wasn't worth nothing, so you wasn't bringing positive male examples around her. You wasn't. You was trying to restrict her from doing everything, so you didn't really teach her about life the way that you should do. Mm-hmm. You didn't teach her about consequences the way that you should have did. You was just out here trying to. <laughs> we're gonna be honest. A lot of them trying to relive your childhood, or trying to or trying to stretch your prime years out. And putting your daughter on the on the on the shelf because of it. Yeah. But and then when your daughter go and go out in this world and fuck up, now you want to come down with the hand with the hand of God because of shit that you didn't do on the front end that was your responsibility. That shit gotta be spoken on more. Because again, it's, it's nothing wrong with corrective action. Right? Because all kids need that. Kids are gonna veer, whatever the case may be. But it sounds like this is this is not a New thing. This is not a, a, a infrequent thing. It happens a lot, and I think that speaks more to you as a parent than it does to your daughter. But you punishing her as if that is her fault. It's not. It's your fault. And a lot of black mothers would not take credit or not credit blame for that type of situation, and that's not spoken on enough. I think it's both of their faults. I'm not just gonna say it's the mother's fault. I think the kid still knows right from wrong, so they have to have some fault. In that, but there's other tactics you can use. You can go straight to military. How can I get through to this person's head? How can I get through to my child's head? What do I need to do? What what kind of advantages I can take over besides cutting, changing this woman's appearance? Because if I sat here and, and cut my own hair, how would I feel? That's what I would think. Before I dish out this punishment to my my child, if I had a child, my son or daughter, if I did the same thing to myself when I was 14 years old, how would I feel? Because we all make mistakes growing up. I don't care how good somebody raised you. We're going to go the opposite way. Yeah. Don't put mm-hmm. your hand in that cookie jar. Guess what we're going to do? Put both hands in that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Just because. We would just want to experience it. See what it's like. And if it's a completed keep on a routine task, okay, let's, let's see. How can I change this? You think looking pretty is your big goal, end goal. We taking the makeup away. We taking the lashes. We taking the mm-hmm. getting pedicures. We taking the clothes. We taking all that away. We going back to being in the military. You wear one hairstyle. A bun. The bun. <laughs> yeah. I Anything else? Got that bun. No makeup. <laughs> no jewelry. No earrings. Mm-hmm. We're going to go this way. And if this don't work, then I got to find another route. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look up other ways. But th- <sighs> that hair is so, like B was mm-hmm. saying, that hair is so detrimental to a, a child and a girl. She definitely probably going to start cutting school. What definitely. happened to you? Because she thought she was a whole oh, big bad. She probably was a class leader almost a class clown so whenever she got in there everybody was like oh hell she about to act up now you come in there with your hair all cut off <laughs> what happened to you I like thought she was all I'm big and bad sending you to school your, to be your class mom, clown your mom did That's this real. to you oh no now she's gonna be like okay well I don't wanna be here and deal with this bullying over and over again either I'm gonna live, take my life or I'm gonna start cutting class and mm-hmm. I'm gonna start acting up even worse I send you to school to learn not to be a clown That's yeah. facts but That's there's right. ways to not make somebody look like a for sure clown cause then when you're outside in that world you're a prime example of me that's a fact. And you know what parents don't do, man, that I think they need to do, man? They need to goddamn. Cause let's just face it, man. Most of the popular kids that you know gonna be bums. <laughs> it's just facts. We can look at everything. That's funny as fuck. But if you go look at this shit, you go look around at all these popular kids that oh. we do from every class. I give a fuck what class you go through. Mm-hmm. A lot of them be bums because a lot of that be mommy right. and daddy money. A lot of them be popular off of mama and daddy money because the mama and daddy can afford the nice clothes, the shoes and shit, all that shit there. But when it's time to jump off that porch, you really get to see who really got hustled. And we need to drive around and show these motherfuckers, oh, that boy used to be the man. Oh, that girl used to be the man. Look how they living now. Yeah. Look how they living now. That's, that's, that was when they peaked. That was it. That, that was it. That was they peaked. First 18 years of their life. That's what they did. And then got, as soon as they graduated... Down here, down here. Oh, this. Oh, look, look, you see this. You see this Walmart cashier. Oh, that. That, that was the most popular person in our class. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why does they keep on talking down to Walmart people? <laughs> I will. Nah, because they don't make a lot of money. Yeah. That, that's just some real, Walmart bro. boys make some money. Yeah. Uh, be a store manager. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to chill because we, we, we need that Walmart sponsorship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I'm not talking down to Walmart. I'm talking about I'm talking about the ones that 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 stay as. The, the clerk or the the gotcha. uh the, the goddamn uh, uh department uh uh manager or something like they only control clothes or some shit. The motherfuckers ain't making no money, dog. They ain't making no they ain't making no money to change 
their background. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So that's what these that's what these parents need to t- t- show their kids. They just be talking, but you don't never show nothing. Motherfucker, this person right here used to be the man. This person right here, they used to talk about him like a dog or talk, talk about her like a dog, but now they got a million dollar crib. Them 18 years of your life, that's nothing compared to what you want. Well, I'm going to say this. My comparison between the two, though, I think with a boy growing his hair out is low key. It's like a privilege in a sense compared to a woman to where that's just naturally. She can do many hairstyles without getting the hair done. A boy, you got to grow it out, get some waves, you can have a fro, but that take a much longer time than a woman would. So as a boy, as, as if I had a son, I would tell him that like, that's part of your privilege package. If you fucking up in school, the hair coming off. I wouldn't His just hair. I would just coming off the blue. Like I'm I'm saying I'm shooting a little bit of bail. Like it like I said, it makes more sense from a boy's side versus well, a woman. I'm not doing because it. Because the woman's side, because it weighs so much on their end versus the guy. You can get a fade, you can get whatever. Like it take time. A woman, yeah. it's it's just I think it's just different, dog. Whatever it's totally punishment different. I give my son, if I have a daughter. She is getting the same punishment. Whatever privileges I give my son, she is getting the same privileges. This world equal out here, baby. Don't ever think. Don't ever think it's that not. part. Yes, but I'm saying hair. No, I'm not all doing that, that shit equal. Hair, clothes, I'm all that shit. That. You can you can grow that shit just like he can grow that shit. But I'm, if it's a girl, I'm gonna say you can't get your hair done. I'm not gonna. You can put it in a bun. You better get some grease. You can style it, or I'm I'm taking nails away. <laughs> Blue I'm, grease. I'm doing oh well, shit. <laughs> Speaking, of, but put I'm I'm going that route. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing that route. This is what you got? Nails, <laughs> lashes. I'm taking that away, but I'm not I'm not cutting a no woman hair. No, I'm not cutting my son hair. Bro. I'm no. not doing. I'm not going. It's it's plenty of other ways that I could show my son and give him a lesson, than goddamn cutting his hair and. Fucking up his appearance and how he view himself, because all that is confidence. I don't want to take your confidence from you. You get what I'm saying? I want to teach you a lesson. Your confidence, I want to always have your confidence at the tippy top of where it needs to be. You know what I'm saying? So me degrading you in that way, that's gonna take your confidence from you. Man or the boy or girl, that's gonna take that from you. He can be confident that he can whoop stained. your ass because you ain't doing no goddamn <laughs> punishment to him. He gonna say, look at look at this softy. <laughs> It's softy. I didn't get it everything I wanted to do. Sick. Still growing my hair out. <laughs> I'd be in jail if my son put his hand on All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm beat up. Jail. We ain't going to do nothing. We jail. do not promote violence on this I platform. I brought you into this world and I could take you out. Hold on, son. You taking me out. Hold on. <laughs> That's something whoop your ass in the front <laughs> yard. That's all. This, <laughs> this life I didn't provide for you. And you, dare, you dare even think That's about crazy. raising your voice to be 45 trying to fight the age. She is. <laughs> she is. <laughs> All right, that man. That one good swing, get him and miss. I'm going to be on that front yard on his ass. <laughs> it ain't going to be no swing. It's going to be one back up. Two, two. It's going to be by him. It's going to be by him. That's what I'm waiting for. It's going to be by him. That's what I was waiting for. Nigga, think he Marvin Gaye Sr. <laughs> Again, we do not promote violence on this platform. Ooh. On that note. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Get the people out here. Get the people out here. <laughs> he dying. He dying. He ain't going to make it go.